Hey guys, it's Marty Geek. In this video, I'm finally playing Rive on the Nintendo Switch. This is the Ultimate Edition. It came out actually a couple weeks ago, um, and it's available for $14.99 on the Nintendo eShop. Uh, thanks for the developers that actually sent me a code so I can try it out and make a video for you guys. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, first of all, this game is... I actually thought it was just one of those arcade shooter games that you, you fly around and shoot targets that are coming to you. But no, I was totally wrong. This is basically a platform game where you actually do a lot of shooting. Um, and it is really, really cool. It looks really awesome on the Nintendo Switch screen. Uh, first of all, I know a lot of people are going to ask me how much space does it actually occupy because sometimes the, the the size that it says in the eShop is not accurate uh, so here it is it takes 806 megabytes there you go that's it that's all it takes uh, of course this game I think it's only digital yeah it's only digital as of right now but I, I don't know if I heard it was coming as a physical game I don't know but let's go and go and start it has really really cool colors and all that I was impressed right away right with the art style I was really really impressed so this game has a lot of features it has campaign uh, missions once you start playing you're gonna unlock missions which is gonna let you play replay all the missions again you got challenges which is basically like daily challenges uh, you got Battle Arena, which is basically um, you choose a stage and you have to try to survive as long as you can. And then, you you, you know, you get a final score. You can compare with everybody else. Uh, here you got achievements. Look at that. Achievements. Leaderboard settings. Uh, in settings, these are the settings. Uh, sadly, you cannot change the buttons configuration. You cannot change that, but you can actually change rumble on or rumble off. Co-pilot mode. Uh, this game, since it's on the Switch, of course, it has the option for co-pilot mode, uh, which means that you can play with uh, two separate person. One person can control the ship and the other person can actually shoot. And if if you die or whoever dies, then the other person, person actually uh, shoots and then the other person actually drives. So that's the way it is. Um, here in campaign, I'm going to go ahead. You got regular mode. You got speed run, which I actually unlocked um, a couple minutes ago. I was actually still playing it. You got regular mode. In regular mode, you got continue, change difficulty, and reset. Um, since I want to show you guys how this game actually starts and all that, I'm going to start from mission one. You could go ahead, mission two, mission three. Right now, I'm starting mission four. That's why mission four is not here. So I got mission one, two, and three done. Uh, you got regular mode. You could go ahead at speed run if you want. Normal difficulty or hard. I'll leave it on normal. And let's go ahead and start. It's going to start right there. There you go. There you go. So right now, you're playing with this ship right here. And like you see here, when I saw this, I was like, ah, oh, this is basically another one of those arcade shooter games that you're like floating around and, and shooting objects that and targets are coming to you. But then it changes. It changes really drastically. And it's, of course, it sounds incredible. Really good sound. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, your life meter is on the top right there. You got to try to avoid these because you can get cut with these lasers. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So. Nice. So, to jump, you use the ZL, which for me. <laughs> a drone. <laughs> for me, at the beginning, it was a little bit hard to get used to because I'm not used to jumping with the ZL. Um, honestly, I was always hitting the B button. To jump, sadly, you cannot change that to the B button because the these button right here are actually used for uh, special attacks like rockets, like mines, and all that. 
So that's the reason why you can't configure these. But look at this. It looks incredible. Oh, look at that. We unlock. At the beginning, when you start this game, you're not going to have this available. But when you replay the mission, this is the first time I'm actually replaying the mission. Uh, you have it available, which is awesome because I'm going to show you guys how this works. We got some health there. So if I, if I do this, it just shoots like rockets. There you go. You hack by right here. Every time you see something like that, you gotta just press right here and it goes to hacking mode. And in hacking mode, just point, point to it and it'll automatically start hacking it. And that's it. So right now we opened, right? We opened something up here or oh, something down here. Oh yeah, what's down here? There you go. Okay, we got another part hacking device here. Okay, now what I'm going to do later on, after this mission, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to capture mode. That way you guys can have an idea how this game looks uh, in capture mode because in these sections like this, it actually gets uh, dark and it's better if you see it, you know, oh crap, oh crap. It's better if you see it in capture mode or in TV mode. There you go. But look at that. That looks incredible. It looks really, really good. One of, in my opinion, I'm not exaggerating, but in my opinion, one of the best indie games that I've played on the Switch. I know there's a lot of great indie games, but this looks incredible. It looks really, really nice. So right here, I can just shoot. There you go. And then you pick these up again, and you're basically... Um, you're basically reloading. Um, here, this this is where you actually gain those special attacks. Uh, right now, these were the one, the Falcon attack, which is the rockets. Uh, this is basically like uh, this is basically like a shotgun, but I don't have enough cash for it, and so on, so on, so on. I already purchased this one too. So if I switch over here, let me see. Yeah, you can see there it's available as well. So I, I, oh yeah, I see there. Electrocutes everybody. Whoa. Let me switch over here. So this is like a mini boss. There you go. Woo. Yeah, baby. There you go. So every time you use those rockets, you have to wait. You wait for a crate to come down, so they can. Then you can reuse that power again. There you go. There you go. There you go. There was a uh, some life. A hack right there. There you go. Nice. Look at that. That looks incredible. It looks really nice. So, yeah, that's why I really like this game so far. I've been loving it. Hard to put down once you keep on playing it. And let's go press right here. And it finishes the level. Look at that. It finishes the level. Level 1 complete. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to TV mode. That way I can sh share with you guys the gameplay a little bit better. That way you can actually appreciate how awesome it actually, it actually looks. Okay, so here we are back again with Rive. This is the second mission. You see there, Into the Weeds, Mission 2. And of course, we still play as this ship. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, we play with the ship through the whole game. I don't know. Like I said, I never played this game before on PC. And PlayStation 4 which actually came out I think it was last year and um, for those for those consoles but I never got to play it 
station has a lousy range. So these things right here that are floating around later on, we're gonna actually get the ability to hack them. Those are those are actually called, called um, nurse drones. Okay, we got some life there, some health. Oop, oop. Another thing I think is that this game is actually running at 60 frames per second as well, which is really nice. That's why this game looks so impressive on the Nintendo Switch screen itself. Uh, here it looks really good, but on the screen, if you're playing this game in portable mode, oh my god, it's just just amazing. See, right now I, can, I still can't hack this. Uh, I can't hack it yet because I'm basically replaying Mission 2. But later on, not far from now, you know, okay, we gotta hack that first. All you gotta do is press R or L and it'll go to hacking mode. Now we're gonna collect these. Hey, what's that? There you go. Uh huh. Da -da -da. Identify nurse, nurse drone. drone source code. There you go. That's pretty. <laughs> so now I can actually use my hacking bing to hack this drone and You're basically what it is is a drone that's gonna now follow me and give me help that's what it is and I'm gonna need it right away <laughs> you know what's cool here is that replaying these missions the cool thing is that you can actually replay them but with your character already upgraded, you know, with with your special powers unlocked. If you have like three special weapons, you'll get them right away from the get-go. Uh oh, what happened to my drone? Oh, there it is. I don't know where he came through, but there it is. Freaking bat, there you go. There you go, boy. So like you see here, it looks re- Oh my god. Oh, oh, I think we're gonna die here. Okay, no. Luckily, oh my god, I keep- See, I keep- I keep- Ah! <laughs> Man, I really- I'm, I'm still trying to get used to the- To jumping with ZL. I'm still trying to get used to- Right now, I'm much better than when I started because when I started playing this game you know, really early in the morning, I was really bad at jumping because I kept pressing the B, the B, the B, the B, the B to jump because for me, the B feels a lot more, oh, hola, hola, hola. It feels a lot more natural. But, you know, once you start playing this game and after a couple hours, I guess you gonna get used to ah oh, crap we're dead <laughs> we're dead here but luckily what I really like about this game is the checkpoint um, sections uh, there's a lot of checkpoints in this game so if you die don't worry because you're gonna you're gonna actually respawn where you where you die right where you die you're actually gonna respawn there and that's that's been the case so far um, I'm on mission four right now and so far that's been the case when you die you basically respawn like seconds before you die so that's really good that's something that I really like about this game because in this game it's gonna get challenging and you're gonna and there's gonna be missions where you're gonna die a lot but at least you don't have to be going back again restarting the level like a lot of like a lot of other games make you do so at least in that way when I die okay I died but next then I try to figure out what I did wrong and how can I make it better and just start again from where I left off get some metal for stupidity. 
Okay. Yo, oh crap. So there's gonna be a lot of missions where you're gonna get overwhelmed by enemies coming from everywhere. You're gonna jump and evade it, try to jump and evade them. Um, but oh my god. You know what? I play I play better in portable mode. <laughs> I don't know why, because I'm still using the Joy-Cons. Holy crap. No, no, no. I guess that's it here. Woo. Let's move on. Oh my god, look at that. I got only two bars. A special attack crate. Okay. That's useful. There you go. We got our health back again. Look at that. This looks so nice. Look at the look at the particles coming out of those blades. No! <laughs> look at my death. <laughs> okay, look at that. See, like I said, you die, but you come back again really fast. There you go. Now we already. Okay, I'll throw this. No. Oh, crap. No. Okay, there you go. So you're gonna get enemies coming from both sides. So yeah, I think this game is actually at 60 frames per second. I didn't read too much into it, the press release and all of that, but I believe this game is actually running at 60 frames per second, and, and, and it looks incredible. Oh crap, and we die again. <laughs> yeah, but there you go. We're gonna, see that? See that? We just finished this right now, and we started from right there. There you go. There you go. There you go. But of course, you can also put it in super hard mode, which I it, honestly, I don't know. I wouldn't put it there because I like enjoying the games, not dying too much. And there's no easy mode. There's only normal and hard. That's it. Normal and hard. Okay, now this part right here. Oh crap, I thought this was a mission three. It was actually mission two. This is a hard part. Because the freaking. That belt right there is pulling me back to the blades. And you gotta jump and try to stay on the freaking. You know, stay your freaking ahead. There you go. No, over here at the back. Yeah. There you go. Okay, man, there was a health right there. Let's see there. That was a freaking health. Sometimes in this bar right here, this belt is gonna be like uh, health. Uh, we got another wave of enemies. Oh crap! Oh crap! Damn lasers again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. 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 There you go. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Two bars. No. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it go up to here. So like you saw there at the end of the belt, there was a health bar, health package. So I think it's better if we stay on this side. Oh crap, we keep getting hit by that. Ah, this one right over here. Okay, there you go. I think it's better if you stay on this side at the end, you know, at the end of the of the belt right here. Okay, that's done. We're done here. Whew. Oh crap! No, no, no! Wait a second! <laughs> oh my god! Are you kidding me? I guess that wasn't enough. So there you have it, guys. 
So like you see, they're really awesome shooter game. So if you like these type of platform shooter games, man, I'm stunning you. I, I, I don't think I've played, I don't think there is a better platform shooter game on the Switch than this game. I don't know, I'm trying to think right now. Because I'm pretty, there's, there's been so many, there you go, look at that. There's been so many games released for the Switch, indie games, that it, it sucks for a lot of these games to get because there's so many games coming out that these games, the great games, the indie games, they get buried. They get buried, buried under all this mess of releases and sometimes a lot of people will just not try them. That's the problem. A lot of people will not just try them because you know there's so many games and you got AAA games coming out as well like Mario Odyssey, you know, Zelda and all those Doom and LA Noir and all those games. So of course people are just gonna skip on these. Which you know it kinda sucks because you know honestly if it wasn't for the developer approaching me, hey can you try this game so you can you know make a video? You know, if it wasn't for them most likely I'll never know what the hell this game is all about. And Do this game is this really way? nice. It's really nice. The graphic is good. The, 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 it feels really fresh because I never played, I don't remember playing a, a shooter that you, where you control a, a little robot. And um, it's a platform and like an arcade shooter combined. You know, I know there's a game like I think uh, from... I don't think it's in Machina, something next Machina. I think that game is kind of similar, one of those type of games. Uh, but this game, look at this, we can actually buy another weapon here, which that's awesome because I can later on continue my mission where I left off and now I'll have this weapon, which is great. That's a good strategy to do too as well. You can get, actually replay the old missions, gain some more cash, and buy some more weapons, then continue your story. That's a good strategy, which I think I'm going to be doing a lot. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I just want to share this game with you guys. This is Rise. Uh, it's only a $14.99, I think it is. And it's not that big. It's not going to occupy that much space in your card and it's really nice it runs beautifully on the switch it looks gorgeous and you know you gotta try it out you gotta try it out so guys thanks for watching the video let me know what you think about this game if you like it please like it and subscribe and of course there's gonna be more games coming out later on so thanks for watching guys till next time